Squarespace has just rolled out one of the coolest updates I've seen in ages. So probably my favorite update of the past six months has been saved sections, which allows us to basically copy and paste sections from various parts of our sites to other parts. But this is coming in at a close second and it's section dividers. Obviously I've got a thing for sections if my two favorite updates are stuff to do with customizing them. But basically what dividers do is allows us to style that gap or not the gap, but the, the joining of two sections together. So we can have things like slants, we can have waves, squiggles, zigzags, whatever, but, but I'm doing it a disservice there. There's so much potential with these dividers and I wanna show you exactly how to make best use of them. And just a quick FYI, at the time of recording, this is a beta. So if you're not a Squarespace Circle member, then you won't have access to this. But I'm pretty sure soon enough, it will come to the general public. So without further ado, let's hop on over. So at the moment, this feature is actually in beta, as I've mentioned, but what I wanna do is show you what you will have access to once this comes to public launch. If you were already a Circle member, then even better, you've got access to it now. If we go into edit, let's make a new section, we'll add a blank section, and then what we wanna do is go into edit section. Then you can see this is a new element. So let's click divider, and you can see that we've got a divider here. I think this is one of the coolest things that Squarespace is, has added in in a long, long time. It really is. It's up there with saved sections for me because this is something that used to require so much custom code. All of the codes that were available online were really just hatchet jobs. The only good one was from a company called Square Kicker. And they have like a plugin that allows you to customize Squarespace in crazy ways. Go and check it out. There's a link in my description, actually. But apart from their solution, there was just absolutely nothing that that worked properly. So tangent aside, this is our divider section. So we can have this stroke. You can see it's like a gray stroke. You can change the color of it through here. You can randomize it to lots of different things. Let's say we want to get rid of that stroke. We can get rid easy peasy. And then we can have this strange dotted line, but really we don't want a dotted line. You can change how thick it is. I think if you're going to have a stroke, the thinnest or the smallest thickness is the best way to go. But if we go into the settings, there's tons of parameters that we can change. So you can, we can randomize the presets of, as we've already done. But you can see we can change offset. We can flip the divider itself. We can change how high it is. And we can change the width. So basically, how long until the effect comes back into play. Now, we've got all these different presets as well, which is fantastic. Like I say, we can randomize them, but this is just the tip of the iceberg, really. Once you start playing around with all the different options available to you, let's say you were to add background image, in, this is when things really start to kick on. So let's get rid of the opacity. Let's go back into the divider. And then let's just have a little randomize. So you can see it really brings the images to life as well. And again, you can just play around to your heart's content. I'm going to save it there. And what's good though is like when I was referring to the codes earlier, the codes would always leave this stupid white gap between the sections. So what you would get would be this sort of nice effect. But then instead of the art background, which we've got here, going up right to where it cuts off. It would still cut off here. And then we just have this white space. So it just looked awful, but this is so much cleaner. You can see it just flows perfectly with the site. Obviously I've been off on a tangent playing around on this site. If you check out this guy, but I mean, the main thing that we're looking at here is the dividers. And honestly, this is going to be a game changer. There's not much more of me to say on it other than show you that A, it exists, B, how to use it, and C, encourage you to just get on board, have a play around, and really take your sights to the next level. If you found this helpful, please make sure to leave a like, 
subscribe and check out all of the links in my description below.